So I am coming on to chat about deodorant because it's very, very important to smell good. And um, I became a believer in making your own deodorant about almost a year ago now, okay? And I'm, I really wanted to come on to tell you how super simple it is and pretty much deliver you my, my recipe, okay? So I don't want to go on a rant, but actually first let me introduce myself. Hey Megan, so glad to see you on. So my name's Char, I am an essential oil educator, I'm a plant-based nutritionist, and I'm the founder of my natural health community called Essential Glow, which is obviously my handle, name, whatever you want to call it, on here, because I'm on Periscope and I'm on Facebook Live. So, um, so deodorant. I went natural, as, as in natural deodorants, years ago, okay? So if you are still using uh, antiperspirant or something that promotes blocking sweat from happening, then I would encourage you to start looking at more natural options. So things like switching from antiperspirant to a deodorant and then eventually going and making your own like I am going to show you, okay? So antiperspirants are so unnatural for us, okay? So they are blocking the sweat from coming out, which is what our body naturally wants to do, okay guys? Sweating is totally fine and natural, and I actually encourage it, okay? So this is why I really embraced a more um, natural skin and, and um, beauty routine by switching to a more natural deodorant, and don't get me wrong, I did not make it in the beginning. Yes, actually I am using, so there was a question about using natural hair color, and I am, and I'm actually getting my roots done tomorrow, so that's why my hair looks terrible. But yes, I um, go to an all-natural spa that uses vegan products, because that's what I am. So, side note, or back to my, <laughs> back to my original talk. Um, so antiperspirants, they are blocking your ducts from releasing what they naturally want to do. So when you sweat, it's completely normal, right? It's okay to sweat. It's okay to, to have that release, right? So um, just embrace that for one. And two, staying away from powdered forms of antiperspirants or deodorants um, because they actually contain talc, which is very dangerous, and it is a carcinogen, which is a cancer causer, and it can cause ovarian cancers, okay, which is primarily female, obviously, and sorry, it's female-based, but primarily females are using talc-based products. So I encourage, especially women, to stay away from anything that has talc in it. So um, just to be keeping our body in um, a natural state and, you know, not promoting cancer-causing ingredients going on or in our skin, okay? Because our skin is our largest organ. So let's treat it with the kindness it deserves. Okay, so this is my deodorant that I use now. Okay, this is homemade. It's awesome. These mason jars, I think they're um, 100 milliliters, work perfectly for this recipe I'm going to give you. Okay, so so why I love this because I have I had all the products in my home, and I bet you have about 95% of them in your home right now. And it takes maybe a couple of dollars if you include this jar. This is probably about a dollar, and then the products that go in it are very cost effective. But the best part is, is it works. It literally works better than anything I've ever used before. So including natural deodorants. And the reason that I switched to making my own deodorant is because I had this amazing natural deodorant I had bought at, I think it was Marshall's or something. So it was already discounted. But then when I went to rebuy it, it I couldn't find it at Marshall's because if you know Marshall's, they kind of come in with some awesome products and you can never find them again or if you can find them again if you're lucky. So I didn't want to pay $10. So I ran out of it and I literally made this deodorant that same day I ran out of it because I had the ingredients for this and um, it's super amazing. So for this, super simple. You ready guys? You need to melt four tablespoons of coconut oil. So just the kind that's probably in your kitchen right now. I have a big, um, like a liter jar of it just because we go through it for our cooking and obviously I'm using it now in making deodorant and other DIY stuff. So you need four tablespoons of melted coconut oil. You need half a cup of baking soda. So again, you probably have that. You probably have it in your baking cupboard. And then you need a quarter of a cup of arrowroot powder or cornstarch. So my honest opinion is I switched from cornstarch to arrowroot because cornstarch irritated my armpits a little bit, but arrowroot is completely fine. It might be different for, for 
for other people, but for me, I find arrowroot works perfectly for my skin. So that's what I do. And then I use four essential oils in it. So three drops each of the following essential oils. We have geranium, lemongrass, cypress, and melaleuca, or tea tree oil, whatever you want to call it. And I want to just quickly chat about why those four oils go into this deodorant, okay? So I have my little list right here. So first up, geranium. I don't have it with me. I have two of the four. Um, so geranium, really great for body odor. So oils, essential oils, support your body in a beautiful way. So they have very many different uses. But the reason I put these four oils into my deodorant, and I call this deodorant blend with these four essential oils, my perfect deodorant blend, because geranium is really good for body odor. It's very moisturizing. So if you do have dried out armpits, or especially when I had the arrowroot or the cornstarch situation going on, very beautiful for the, for the skin for that. And it's, um, yeah, so a moisturizer and very beautifying for the skin. Then we have cypress, which is right here. So this is cypress. Um, it's a lymphatic decongestant. So remember how I said that antiperspirants are blocking your ducts from doing what they naturally want to do is release sweat? Well, this is going to help promote the drainage of the system. So the fluids are going to be working how they're supposed to in your lymphatic system, which is so cool. So it clears the lymphatic system. It promotes blood flow and circulation. And this is all good stuff, guys. It's natural stuff that your body is trying to do. Um, so cypress is a key ingredient in this blend. Um, what about a substitute for baking soda? It's super irritating for me. That's a good question, Grace. I will get back to you on that. I haven't really dealt with any substitutes for the baking soda part of the of the recipe, but I will gladly look into it for you and um, come back with an alternative. And one note about this deodorant before I continue on with the other two essential oils in it is um, it can it can liquefy because coconut oil obviously becomes a liquid when you heat it up to a certain point. So you might have to remix the deodorant again. Um, swap the ratio of arrowroot and baking soda. I have the same problem. Thanks, Jen. So swapping the ratio of baking soda and arrowroot. Good thing to try. I just haven't tampered with this recipe because it works so beautifully for me. So again, yes, customize it to what you what you need to use. I'm having the irritation too with my natural deodorant out of an hour, so I'm gonna have to try this. Yes, please do. Okay, so back to the oils before I before I end this is melaleuca. Okay, so melaleuca is the third oil that goes into it. It's very antibacterial, antifungal, antiseptic. So melaleuca is honestly one of my star oils I use for things like green cleaning, which is another subject I'm so passionate about, and I've taught a few webinars on it. So it's very cleansing. So it's a great, it's a great um, oil to have under your armpit. And in, in all honesty, if I'm traveling light and I don't want to bring this jar, because I always make my deodorants in these um, glass mason jars, I will just bring the pre-diluted melaleuca roller. It's called um, the touch roller that doTERRA makes. And I just roll it on the back of my hand and then rub it under my armpits as an alternative to this deodorant when I'm traveling to just keep it light. So there's a, another option of just using the oil on its own. So yes, yeah, very cleansing. So I love melaleuca for its cleansing properties. And it's very beautifying for the skin too. So using it on blemishes and stuff, it's really good for that too. And then the fourth oil in this um, deodorant is lemongrass. So lemongrass is right here, and it's another one I use in my green cleaning all the time. It's a great oil. So it's a lymphatic drainage too, so it's going to help promoting the sweat releasing. And it's also very purifying, so really good for that area. And that's the thing. Like with this natural deodorant, you, won't, you, you will still sweat a lot maybe, especially I live in Florida, so days are hot here. And the great thing about this blend is that you, you honestly don't smell. My husband works outside all day, so he sweats a lot as well. And you come home smelling really good and I don't know why this works so well but it does so if you're afraid that this natural concoction is going to have you smelly by the end of the day just know that it won't so I've used plenty of natural deodorants Tom's you know all those brands and I would have to reapply a few times throughout the day so this one is super awesome and I would love for you to try it out and let me know what you think and you know let me know how your smell factor is by the end of the day and um, I really hope that you enjoyed this because, honestly, I would never go back now. It, it takes so little time. Really, the only thing you need to prepare is melting the coconut oil. And all I do for that, I don't put it in a microwave. I like to get a glass um, measuring cup, and I will get a frying pan and, heat and put some water in it, and I'll put the measuring cup in the, the frying pan with the water and then melt it that way. So really simple, and then all you have to do is add in the baking soda, 
your, your root, your powder, whether it's the arrowroot or cornstarch, and then your essential oils. And I mean, you don't have to use the four essential oils I mentioned. You can use whatever you want. Before this, I would use things like melaleuca. I always put melaleuca in my, in my deodorant blends um, just because it is very purifying for the skin. But you can add, maybe you're going wild orange. Maybe you want some citrus to it. So play around with the... The combos that you're using, I do. I used to sell these in the summer, and I did floral. You could do woodsy, purify is another good blend. It's the cleansing blend, so it would work beautiful on the skin. Um, I did, yeah, citrus, woodsy, floral, um, and then my perfect blend. So, so definitely some great options, and just rocking that more glowing, natural, holistic life, which is what I'm all about, and here to help others do because it's such a passion of mine. So I hope you enjoyed this and um, I'll check in with you guys soon. So have a great rest of your day. See ya.